Next we have right now our special guest Dr. Vinay S. Purani, Chairman, Technical Examination Board, Education Department, Government of Gujarat. We welcome them we, with huge round of applause. Sir, please come on the stage. And to welcome him, I request, I request Mr. Anand to come on the stage. Mr. Kumar Chandir Anand, Founder, CEO and Group Editor of uh, Outdoor.com Media Group is felicitating and welcoming our special guest, Dr. Vinay S. Purani, Chairman of Technical Examination Board, Education Department, Government of Gujarat. I request you, sir, to please address the audience. Very good evening to one and all present over here, all respected Vice Chancellors, Provost of various universities of Gujarat, organizer. Shri Chandanji and entire team of this digital media who has organized such a wonderful event. Today was to come in the morning but had some other engagement so I uh, request him if possible then I can come in the evening. And the theme which is selected is very very close to every one of us what we are working today, what is the requirement for tomorrow and we are the group in higher education uh, have to take a concrete and concurrent actions in this. While working many uh, photographs in that entire uh, group of vice chancellors, I know many from them and as a part of education person right from uh, 1990 started as a assistant professor in early engineering college to the principal and to uh, some position in education department under technical education in administration. So it remains always a matter of concern for every one of us. Today in the morning uh, we had some discussion among the group of principles of school education and today in the evening I was to associate with the vice chancellors of the state and everything is put before us, national education policy is there and new education, new regime that what we are all thinking about. I would like to share certain points on which we are working and try to finding out the way forward that what is our role. In recent time, I myself started because we have to submit because uh, so many government schemes when we are planning during this budget uh, 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 time and implementing some national policies. It is our role while working in the department being an academician and to work in administration. So certain things what we have explored recently, last couple of days we all were working in the technical education, what is the skill landscape in India and second what is a new education. So two, three days before I prepared one document and uh, had a discussion with a uh, higher authority. So either the state universities, private universities, private institutions and many other higher education uh, authorities trying to explore the best out of the students. But what is the today's scenario? So uh, it was always remained debate that we are all making a student centric uh, education, active learn, learning mode and many other practice we should adapt. But all the universities in the state or our big universities, uh, government universities, still we have not get out of that teacher centric approach. We are grossly ignoring the digital content which is available. 
वी आर ग्रॉसली एंगेज विद द टाइम टेबल बेस्ड एजुकेशन इफ स्टूडेंट इज नॉट कमिंग एट थ्री ओ क्लॉक टू स्टडी द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दैट स्टूडेंट विल नॉट लर्न दैट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एट ऑल सो वी आर इन द एज ऑफ पुशिंग द नॉलेज वेर अक्रॉस द ग्लोब दर इज अ सिस्टम ऑफ पुलिंग ऑफ द नॉलेज वंस स्टूडेंट आर performing less we are appreciating the students merit but we never look at what the students of the poor merit so support to the weak system a weak student there is no system i was heading the group in the education department for national uh, education policy where in the group 1 five important parameters were there multidisciplinary education multi entry and multi exit academic bank of credit nh eqf national higher education quality framework uh, implementation and inclusive and affordable education so it is in my belief it is a 90% of the national education policy but still there is no clear road map available to Or, or declared by any private university or government university we were the part of announcement of the nep implementation for higher education but how exactly to be taking it to forward with the students and education i am friend a part of uh, academic council as well as research council at gujarat technological university i am a member there and there also what constraint is that we are trying to coming out of the several uh, solutions that would be the way forward for implementing the national education policy but still there is no such concrete uh, outcome we are able to say my guru mitra guru bhai and uh, very close friend is director bits pilani i used to talk with him very often and uh, he share with me the what the practices they are doing means still we are on count of the attendance and uh, count on merit and so many other things but the best practices if you want to study in the new education in the new regime we have to look across and globally i was there with my commissioner uh, at vellore institute of technology and my stay there for two days make me to realize that what are making them number one so right from the security guard to the president of that university we were there to interact with them and all was nothing less than the highest merit we are in the profession where we are in the divine profession where our integrity moral and ethics are very very essential and it cannot have compromise at any level so the moment we compromise anywhere we are not getting the results so while doing this while preparing this new education scenario we took certain uh, points into consideration that there is no sound from academia or from the society about the employability there is still we are following this grade based system it was the era when mark sheet was the important then we entered to the knowledge if knowledge is there it's okay that we are a knowledgeable uh, person maybe uh, less in the grade it convert into the skill and now across the globe if you can just see as uh, it is my uh, continuous evolving into this it is the product without product if our student is going out there is no use of the knowledge or the mark sheet knowledge is there very well in that 6 inch mobile or tablet but if we do not have our students not having any sort of that skill and the product 
that can immediately uh, be a part of its uh, career we cannot move further i can take and would like to uh, share with you that the student startup and innovation policy it was a good fortunate part on my side that i was given that responsibility to draft as a convener and in 2017 when student startup and innovation policy when we have launched it was the policy student centric policy was made it that because 200 crore 300 crore 500 crore when government is putting the budget lots of discussion and uh, debate and uh, uh, things were happening so startup 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 it was the sound from everywhere many government department industry department started startup policy uh, science and technology have their own uh, certain uh, startup initiative we in the education department put the first word that student startup so the difference between student startup and startup that also was to learn the first hackathon when we planned here in this uh, uh, university convention that time also in 2017 was not much awareness about what is the hackathon and all it was the first hackathon so this is the innovation track one is the research track one is the pure academic uh, attainment accreditation ranking framework and what not so the student at large parents together i believe i feel that they are confused what to do for us it is a matter of concerned the decline trend everyone will agree with me whosoever are here have seen that glory of the education where there was a lots of taker today we all are struggling that what happened that number of students entering to the higher education are not coming as expected we are just near to the national uh, gross enrollment ratio and the sustainable goal make us to promise that we have to reach up to 50 by certain uh, time but first you have to meet the national average so where our role stands where i see myself as a academic person as well as uh, my 15 year plus i put in administration so what would be the kind of policy which can change the mindset of not only the faculties and the institutions and the system but of the students and the parents placement is the way what we are tra treating we have done we all were the part of this mega placement camp we have convened that uh, placement camp for years in fact what is now what should to be done uh, next so i would like to share my yesterday's uh, work itself when i was studying about this skill activities in country that is nsdc is there ncvt is there nqr is there national qualification register and nsqf we are all aware about level 4 onward all these courses belongs to us in this context when we are talking if you can see that number of training providers number of training providers in gujarat is hundreds total number of qualification total number of curriculum available they are total 3000 plus they are nsqf aligned qualification means the credit if that certificate is backed by the student that credit is portable across the nation so what should we do it is not well outreached 
many such many private institutions private universities are part of a training partner but majority are the third party assessment is done by third party awarding bodies are third party so the major part of the education system 100 plus universities and about uh, 500 plus higher education institutions they are not part of this skill landscape of india and who are coming and teaching the students of higher education outside the college and the university number is very very impressive and uh, matter of concerns also that if they are teaching then what we are doing so looking to all that we make some uh, backward integration major institutes or universities of national importance like iits iim triple its and uh, uh, others they have started parallel providing the courses certificate courses certificate courses is the my present job role as a technical examination board so how we take it all to the higher education our institutions and what is the importance of the short certificate courses all the universities across the world they have their standard popular courses if you can name any one stanford harvard or mit they have their courses earlier it was very popularly taken as a mooc courses but mooc now we have the platform of mooc and others here while studying this i got certain information that iits major iits are pursuing the course on logistic supply chain management advances in uh, logistic applications fintech finance technology semiconductor sector infrastructure uh, sector related courses so i used to communicate with them and one day when i call one professor who was coordinating the course that fee was 2.5 lakh rupees and there two batches were already packed another course when i put a call uh, sorry i i uh, browse on the web and i put my credential to get their brochure and all in 10 minutes i got a call from iit rurki sir you are uh, searching for uh, uh, certain courses how can i help you so i told that uh, madam i am not the candidate who are seeking admission but i am the person want to know what this course is about and how we can use it in our system means what is the change in the system iit they don't need to make any uh, advertisement or any sort of outreaching just once they declared it on their portal their admission is guaranteed but they are looking for the meritorious students what i came to know they want someone who is really uh, needing this course and after rigorous uh, examination they admit into such certificate courses so beyond their regular degree or uh, uh, post graduation such certificate courses in my views they are the reality tomorrow i may not need to become btech in computer or am tech in mechanical i may learn the cloud computing or ai ml or i can uh, study this uh, thermal energy and uh, whatever and along with my degree i can do this further in my career so it was the kind of system our universities have to start second what are the government schemes government of india and government of gujarat 
so what are the investment coming to the society to the state to the nation so i have some data uh, just in a couple of uh, days before i was compiling 40000 renewable energy is the target of the government in next 2 years what is the job sector requirement and what is the availability of the courses what is the availability of the training it is simply we are offering some minor subject major subjects electives i think it is not even one tenth of what the academia to look forward semiconductor sector we all aware about what is the investments are coming in i am a member of the joint working group to set up this semiconductor uh, facility and uh, we had a couple of meetings also their requirement is huge and our readiness to deliver or to prepared the kind of youth with this qualification is less we are running in ld engineering college vlsi program we are running since years even in vishwakarma college we have post graduate program on uh, such subjects but it is not just enough simple intensive program of few hours few months to prepare them for a particular job is the need of the day huge investment is coming in the shipping and logistic sector gujarat is selected as a coastal uh, district selected as a shipping in by the shipping industries uh, uh, and the kind of sectors selected here automobile garment and manufacturing as per the requirement including uh, export logistic there is very less know how available among the academia as well as preparedness with the academia so with this kind of thought process we required to explore what is a investment coming in in which area what are the universities other are doing recently government made a mou and uh, launching of the foreign university so multidisciplinary university they itself are coming to gujarat and they are starting their campus in gujarat or even in the uh, gift city so in entire fast going changing in this transaction phase we are from the government try to match that pace to meet with and uh, all private universities they are because they are the total symbol of the higher education taking care of in the large scale so small such practices we have to design we have to develop and we have to integrate in our daily education system so we can get rid of the teacher centric education to student centric and more towards the active learning mode we can make students to have certain development certain projects with them we should make them if we can identify students that they have some potential towards a startup and innovation they can do that i hope many from you must have attended this startup conclave recently we had during this vibrant gujarat and we had a uh, round table also with unicorns and uh, about 100 venture fund investors so at many places as i told that we were the pioneer in the student startup policy many students having lots of idea but they don't have courage they don't have even time to wait for one student having very good innovative ideas and uh, everything they have but they required immediate job and to earn after the graduation so here 
is the role of academia is coming that how to take forward that idea to product to prototype to uh, market and all how to provide the funding to them so we are in the wonderful time with all these new opportunities are there at our doorstep and uh, with all together we are going to make sure that new education system what is the theme of this uh, uh, event today to reach it up to the level what is there i can put the request to chandan bhai that whatever the session discussion you have derived or concluded kindly document it and share it to everyone including all uh, government department government institutes universities and all so sometime whatever outcome of the projects can be read by think by and this idea can be multiply by taking its shape into the reality i am thank you once again for inviting me for this event and uh, my best wishes and i am just i am a part of you whatever is possible uh, to work together at any stage will be happy to there uh, with all over my uh, possibility at my end and thanks to chandan bhai and your team for inviting me thank you once again thank you I request Mr. Chandan Anand to come up on the stage to felicitate and give a gift by Map My India to Dr. Vinay S. Purani, Chairman Technical Examination Board, Education Department, Government of Gujarat. Here we have one special gift from Map My India. Thank you very much, sir, for giving your presence. Dr. Vinay S. Purani, Chairman of Technical Examination Board, Education Department, Government of Gujarat.